Sixers internet, hello, happy Thursday. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, this video is made possible and dedicated to Mr. Slippy Jones. Woo! What's up, Charles? Uh, today, Charles wants us to go over, Slippy, wants us to go over to Khan Barbecue to get some goat curry, I think bowls. I think it comes with rice. Uh, so we're going up to Devon. Is that kind of where it is? Yes, that's definitely exactly where it is. So very excited, uh, trying something kind of uh, in a neighborhood we haven't been to too much on this show, if at all, really, right? And we should. It's the the spot. Yeah. For this is Pakistani, but all this the neighborhood for Indian food. Amazing. So very excited, Slippy. Thanks for donating. Thanks for being a thirty-five dollar a month patron that allows you to select where and what we eat. So guys, come along. Should be a fun one. Slippy, all right, internet. Uh, we got two Gahari Gahari Ghost. ghost. <laughs> You'd be shocked if I got that right. Uh, acquired jump cut. All right, let's take it in for a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got here. Not really sure exactly, other than it's goat and curry. So that's uh, that's about all the information I got for you guys. I'm not sure all the nitty gritty details. It also comes with a tin foil ball of cabbage. Oh wow! So. I just think that's fascinating. Yeah, it's very fascinating. So it sounds like Slippy saw this on Andrew Zimmern's list, uh, that dude that eats a bunch of weird stuff, so here we are. Is there bones in this? Yeah. Oh, you gotta be careful, huh? Yes. Well, that's not what I expected. All right, we're about to eat some goat. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, very good. I love curry flavor anything, and the meat just falls apart. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, man. Definition of tender. Mm-hmm. What do you do with your bones when you're done? Same thing with uh, bone wings. Shit, somebody's house, they're gonna, I'm gonna get my ass beat out here. <laughs> well, there really is no, like, nothing else in here. I thought maybe there was gonna be like a, that's what the cabbage is for, I guess. But yeah. I thought there was gonna be like a rice or something in here. Yeah, he was kinda like, that's all you want? Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, man, that's what the what internet guy told me to get. <laughs> it's so hot, too, I gotta be mm, careful. Mm, mm. It is so tender. I think I like this better than lamb. Yeah, I can see that, I mean, this is. That's probably why they call people who are great at things the goat. That's yeah, this is the best meat you can eat. Yeah, a lot of bone. Yeah, a lot of bone. Are you gonna try your green sauce? Yeah, why not? Well, I don't like the green sauce. Any, I mean, any, any idea roughly what it is? It tastes like there's like a light mint. Hmm. Maybe a chutney. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a, that's a word I know. Yeah, it is really good. This would be great if I. You know what I would do is I, if I was at home, I would like sit here and take all of this off the bone and put it to the side and then mix this sauce in with some jasmine rice or something. Yeah, dude. The basmati rice. That'd be so good. I love goat, apparently. I think I like goat better than lamb. I'm surprised. I don't like when you gotta do the work of getting like the bone out of it though. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I get it. It's so tender like that I think that I should just get exactly what I want. But that's what I want. Yeah, this is good though. It's very good. Slippy, nice uh, recommendation, dude. Gets us out in an, an area we don't get to go very often. And um, we've never had goat on the show, so that's fun. Ooh, that bite was great. Yeah, I don't like the pain in the ass of it, but I love the flavor of it. Also something that people probably use to describe me. I'm a big pain in the ass, but I got a good flavor. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm a bit annoying to be that's around, That's you but in a nutshell. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I got some funny stuff every now and then. That's, that's got, the flavor. You got some flavor. You got a little but spice, jam. damn, I can be annoying. Yeah, where's the bone? I'm playing a game called Where's the Bone? You gotta be careful playing that when people haven't consented. This is so good, I just want to eat it with rice so badly. It would be so much better. On their website, when Slippy suggested this, I went to the site and like looked for it. There's no sort of explanation of what it is, what it comes with, what you might be ordering. It's just a complete shot in the dark. So yeah. I deserve what I got back by not knowing what I was looking at. And their website's a .net, which yeah. I love. It looks like it was programmed in GeoCities from uh, back when I used to be on like Pokemon uh, forums back in 1999. <laughs> yeah. Literally like, I bet if you went to that website on your phone, your phone would just go like, are you sure? You know those, like when you get the <laughs> yeah. safety notifications, just because they would be like, this site is trying to use like Flash 1.0. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So long story short, um, I didn't know what I was getting. Interesting though. I'm glad I can say I had goat now. Yeah. They're almost like little, uh, like riblets. I was gonna say vertebrae. <laughs> that just sounds so much worse, but yeah. Well, if this content's boring you, 
I do have a new vlog up. If you, <laughs> if you want to see a guy get la lasered in the face with a professional volleyball player's serve, you can only watch the first 10 seconds of my video and then turn off the rest because I start hard and finish slow. That's the name of the game. <laughs> but I did go to the professional volleyball tournament in Chicago and vlogged it and it was actually way more sick than I expected. Beach volleyball right at the foot of downtown, sandwiched in between the lake and the giant buildings. I just thought it was awesome. A lot more action in that video than what's going on in this yeah. video. And the, the name of the, the last name of the guy who did that laser serve, uh -huh. Case Beer. Jeremy Case Beer. Jeremy Case Beer. That's he's, incredible. He's my favorite uh, professional volleyball player. I didn't have one before I met him. Yeah. He's got a dual colored mustache. Not by choice. That's incredible. By birthmark. Oh, I love gray, that. Half yeah. of it's uh, dark. And he's an absolute psychopath out there just shooting lasers. Yep. Uh, I emailed him that clip because I couldn't believe I got it. And he put it on Instagram. As he should have. So emailing back and forth. He was a super nice guy. And someone in the crowd was like, you got to send that to Bounce House. I didn't know what Bounce that's House was. That's an incredible name for that's it. That's an Instagram account for specific to volleyball players. I Maybe love even that. specific to beach volleyball. And Bounce House was like, bro, can I use that? I was like, yeah, bro, I'm not a volleyball influencer. You can yeah, have that for go free, for it. Bro. Use it. Yeah, this is a freebie for you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, lasers, somebody who throws lasers, Max Scherzer, he's got the two different eye colors. Oh yeah, Max Scherzer. So in they the, got a name for that. Yeah, they do, and I, it's escaped me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I have a name for it too. It's called ugly. <laughs> no, dude, Max Scherzer's a beautiful <laughs> no, man. No, they are beautiful. He's a beautiful man. I like dogs who have eyes like He's that. He's awesome, dude, yeah. Are you kidding me? I got think I got mo mainly bone left. Yeah. I kind of uh, want to save all these, this curry juice. I'm telling you right now, like, that's why I'm not going, the heat also is deterring me. But that's not why I'm going as hard on this, is because I kind of want to, like, take this home. I really want to eat this with rice. I know, it's the transportation that makes me nervous. It's very nervous. I feel like me and you are the transporters. We just gotta <laughs> shave our head and get much stronger and better right. looking. Mm -hmm. And then our the dangerous mission will be on is transporting this without ruining my wife's car. Yeah, that's the main thing that I'm trying to not do. I I'm, feel like transporting this without spilling it on the car is like when I'm trying to transport myself to a bathroom when I got diarrhea. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like every bump makes me nervous. Yeah, it's all really wobbly. You even, like... Yeah, even hitting the brakes, the brakes or the gas makes me feel like I'm gonna get a little bit of leakage. And yep. I get. Ugh. Yep. The closer I get to home, the tighter what is I gotta that, go. By the way. Is it so mental? Everybody's talked about that. When you, the closer you get to home, the more you have to go. Yeah. Because you feel like you're gonna just like you're like I'm so close. My butthole has an internal magnetic compass that yeah. knows the location of my house. Right. And as I get closer, it prepares itself for launch. Yeah, dude, it's so nerve wracking. It's like it starts speaking. It starts like quivering. Down the street's rough, but as soon as you use your key fob to get in your front door, that's when it's the true game day. Yeah, but at least in there, if I do any spillage, I can mop it up. <laughs> Imagine bringing a mop, mop bucket out to your car. You know, I don't want to. Debilitating, you know? Uh -huh. It might hurt the, hurt the ego a little bit. Just a tad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat some more of this at home, and I'm gonna report back to you guys, because I really want this with rice, and I want to have this. This is tough to eat in a car. It's one not of, meant for One it. of the toughest. Yeah. Maybe that's Slippy's whole thing. He's demonic like that, dude. He's like, ha ha <laughs> devil. Jackasses try to eat that in the car. Slippy Jones. What a little slipster. I bet his name's Slippy because he slipped out of his own bowels before. <laughs> he eats food like this and has mistakes. Mm -hmm. Guys, this was a weird one, but uh, don't forget to like the video. Uh, Slippy, you know we love you. He's always on the Patreon Zoom Hangouts, uh, always supporting the show. Uh, he lives in Michigan, so you know I love him. I love all my Michigan folk. Uh, so Slippy, thank you. Like the video, and then guys, today, maybe we say what's the most exotic meat you've ever had, and that gives him an opportunity to like. Yeah, I like that a lot. Because they can also touch on the goat thing, but yeah, maybe you've had something really crazy. Yeah. So just give us kind of your, your wild exotic eatings, um, and we'll, we'll have a little dialogue today in the comments about that. What's your most exotic meat? I had crocodile. Mm, I want that. I haven't had it. Very good. I want that. Very, very good. I'm trying to think if I've had anything else. We got somebody there. mailed us like pig nose or something, and we ate it. Yeah. Or it was like pig dick or something. I don't know what Pickled it was. Pickled dick. Maybe that's always like a thing that isn't like people do it in like challenges. Yeah, people stuff. eat bull dicks and bull dicks and you don't hear about much. Uh, I don't know what the proper word is. Pussy. Like no one's eaten. You ever had a cat? Pitch? No, you can eat that. I don't know. No. So but I think that's like I, that's weird that you don't you eat bull dick but you don't eat dog dick, raccoon dick. No pussy. Oh, oh, like the uh, you know how like the um like what what about when a kid is born and the. Uh, mom eats the placenta. placenta. Can you just have? Can you get like bull placenta? I'm or like sure ox, somebody has. ox placenta? Because it's supposed to be so good for you. Do they? Can you just get like? Can you? And then can you fry? Can you bread it? Like in panko? I mean, you can bread bread anything. Right. I could bread your body and fry you up if right, I wanted. Right. So. Mm. 
70% fat. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean though? Like, do, do they have like fried placenta? I mean, they eat crickets, so. Right. Yeah. I've had a cricket. You have had yeah, cricket? Yeah, that, that to me is not that weird. No, because it's just crunchy. I've never had it. I've never had anything that's. Would uh, you eat insane. crickets? Yes. You I'll would. try just about. I'll try anything that someone is like. If there was a human being who's like, no, this is good. Right. Not as like a dumb, like, oh, we're going to prank you kind yeah, of Yeah, then I'll be yeah. like, yeah, I'll try that. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think you'd like crickets. I had chocolate crickets, and then I had just like the grilled, the fried, whatever they mm -hmm. do with them normally, where they're real crunchy. It's probably just their bones breaking. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Exoskeletons. Yeah, so comment that below. Um, and now let's do a shout out. Merch out, merch out, merch out. That's right, guys. We got a merch channel. Uh, merch channel. Well, it can be whatever you want. It's a realm. Merch it's page. a whole universe. <laughs> Check out the shirt Sean's got going on right now. It's the number six with cheese neon shirt. It's our current uh, on the block, about to be off the block item. It means we're gonna be taking it off the website in the next few weeks. Make sure you grab it before it's gone. Uh, our number one seller, the thing that everyone should try. If you're not into shirts, you gotta be into hot sauce. We got the Sixer sauce and the hotter Sixer sauce. Just check the website out to see what all the other goodies are because we got a plethora of them. It's number six with cheese.com. Anybody who's buying anything, we're giving shout outs to. So let's give a couple of people some love uh, who have recently bought from our store. Merch shout out number one goes to a dear, dear friend. I'm one of my favorite people in the world, Miss Morgan Olsen. Uh, Morgan, uh, she's been on the show more than one time. She's mo the most lovely human. Uh, she bought in this particular case, she's done this about three times, we'll probably say her name many times, five Sixer sauces. It's her favorite thing. She goes, Sean, if you guys ever stop making it, let me know. I'm gonna buy 25 of them to last me, so let me know. But Morgan, seriously, thank you so much. I love you, and thanks for buying. And merch out number two goes to Donna Olsen. There we go, yeah. Donna bought uh, three bottles of Sixer sauce. Shawnee said that's her mom. 99% sure that Donna is Morgan's mother. That's so cute. Yeah. We sent that out to McEwen, 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 Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. It's M E Q. I'd have no idea. U O N. I'd so have no McEwen. Idea. McEwen, that sounds dope. So I hope you enjoyed those uh, bottles of Sixer sauce. I'm not sure if your daughters introduced you to the hotter Sixer sauce, but it'll blow your butthole out. And I think you should try it. <laughs> you leaving? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, number six with cheese.com, buy off the website. Uh, that's where you can get our sauce and shirts and all that stuff. All right, time to rate uh, the lamb curry uh, from Khan Barbecue out of five. I don't know if I've done this before for Slippy, but he used to work at Sonic, and I just always think about that. So, uh, out of five Sonic limeades, that'll definitely be online. How many Sonic limeades do you give the goat curry bowl that we had here today? Corey, your turn. Uh, it was, I mean, the flavor was great. The uh, meat was very tender. Um, I do wish that it came with rice. And I think it was like 15 bucks, so I feel like it should come with rice. Oh, wow. It was a lot of meat, I don't know. Um, it was kind of a pain in the ass to eat off the bone, so I'm also gonna take off for that. I'm just a big spoiled baby who likes my things in a particular way, and if I don't get my way, I pout about it and give you guys worse scores, so that's just the life I live. He's honest. So I'm gonna give that a, I mean, it's still tasty, so I'm gonna give it a three. I think that's still easy. That's what I was thinking. Like. As an entree, I was gonna ask you the price, and without a side other than a uh, aluminum foil of cabbage, yeah. I just think I'd, I'd go higher if it came with a rice, or even like some sort of non-bread, or yeah. some kind of bread where I could kind of like debone some of the goat and put it into the, and make myself little like uh, pita tacos. Mm -hmm. Those <laughs> are tasty. Because I'm, I'm the most American person of all we're time. We're always that, trying to fusion. Yeah, you know? we're trying to fusion everything. But it was- Me and Sean sometimes fuse at night if we get drunk enough. Yeah, we put one skin over the other skin and we wrap, see how far. Um, so I'm gonna go also a 3.0. Um, Slippy, truly I'm so excited that you picked something just so random because a lot of times we get a lot of the same stuff. So it was fun kind of going somewhere else. But uh, if you guys also want to uh, pick what and where we eat, Patreon is the place to do it, $35 tiers. Uh, we've got more of those probably coming next week as well and the week after that. So get on the list, they're starting to pile up. We'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with us, goodbye.